Good morning. Welcome back to Marty's Tying Bench. Uh, I'm putting together Vice Squad kits for the third week in December. And since I always look for something seasonal, I thought we'd tie a Christmas Island special. This is a bonefish and permit pattern popularized in uh, Christmas Island. Pink and orange, two of the popular colors. Today let's tie one in orange. Got a saltwater hook, size 6. You want at least 140 denier thread or 6 aught. Make your wraps pretty tight so they don't slide around on the hook. We're going to create a thread base on which we're going to tie the dumbbell eyes. The eyes can be lead, they can be brass. Today we're just going to use bead chain. If you get a chance to fish for bone fishing permits, you'll see what's important is the weight of these things, so you'll have a variety. Now I'm going to set this on the hook so that that ball stays behind the eye. And I'm going to make a good 10 to 15 wraps all in the same direction and all fairly firm. Now when I start the other direction I'm going to get about five wraps and then reach up there and physically twist those eyes into position, tighten up a little bit. I didn't get it all the way so another five and then just torque it. And By the time you get to 15 or 20 they'll be pretty square then go around above the hook but below the beads and that will bundle together all of those wraps and help secure that. That's, that's pretty firm. Glue it if you want to and that leaves just about the right amount of space in front. Now for body material we've got some orange crystal flash and get about 10 strands a few more a few less will be just fine I'm going to tie that in along the shank length until I get above the barb of the hook and I'm going to stretch this back and cut it so that it's just about the same length as the fly body and then right away I'm going to jump that thread back up and tie it in again. And this will be our body material. Now I like to get one wrap behind the crystal flash and that helps keep them from sliding back down and around the tail when you wrap. Get the thread out of the way all the way in front of the beads. Go kind of gentle until those spread out and then tighten up and start your wraps forward. If it's important to you, you can build that body up to a shape, make, make it a little more bulky. Okay, when I get to the front, you see I'm making some crisscross wraps to fill in that side, and then I'm going to lay the crystal flash forward and tie it in on what will become the top of the fly. Fold those back and secure them so that now you've got kind of a flashy underwing. If any of these are longer than the tail, go ahead and cut them. And let them spread out. The last material is a craft fur. You can use pseudo hair polar fiber, and I've just got a standard tan craft fur. And I don't make these too bulky. The feedback I get is sparse works a little better. Now you're going to have a whole bunch of short fibers in at the end, so go ahead and pull those out. 
and then you're going to kind of hand stack those things for length. Just grab the very longest of them, slide them out, put it back in a bundle. And set that up so that the length is just a little longer than on the crystal flash. And you can tie this in and then trim. I like to trim first. Get a bundle around it. Get it in position so none of those stubs are longer than the eye. And just bind them down. Building a little bit of a bullet head here. Now all these turns are going to twist your thread around, so take a minute and spin them flat and you'll get a smoother head. And if your thread is relatively flat when you tie your whip finish, you can make a lot more wraps and kind of finish off your shaping and smoothing. None of those wraps were very tight. Now I'll tighten it up. And lacquer or head cement is a good idea on these. I'm just going to get a drop of water base. You can use super glue, hardest hole, UV resins. There you go. I'll put a little shine to it. Christmas Island special. Have fun.